Once upon a time, in the days of Enoch and long before Noah's floods, the Lord talked to Raphael and gave him solemn instructions. Go, bind Azazel, the fallen one, hand and foot, the Lord said. Cast him into the depths of darkness, where no light can reach him. So Raphael went down to the earth, grabbed Azazel, tied him firmly, and led him to a lonely desert in Dudiel. Raphael carved out a gap, an abyss of shadows in the bleak terrain. He encased Azazel within, encircled by harsh and jagged rocks, and enveloped in eternal darkness. The Lord ordered that Azazel would live in this pit for eternity, his face hidden from the light and his eyes never seeing the sun again. But the story didn't stop there. On the day of great judgment, Azazel would meet a terrible fate, being thrown into the flames for his crimes. Azazel, the fallen one, was held responsible for all sins. As a result, the narrative of his downfall resonated as a cautionary tale throughout history. Let's start Azazel's story from the beginning. In one Enoch's ancient scriptures, Azazel was mentioned as one of the principal Gregori, a group of angels who descended from the heavens. These beings, fascinated by the beauty of human women, took them as wives, breaking the divinely ordered natural order. The identical scenario is told in Genesis 6 verses 2 to 4, which describes the prohibited mating of celestial beings with earthly maidens. While the name Azazel is not explicitly stated in the scripture, the story stays unchanged. In ancient times, the sons of God were fascinated by the beauty of the girls of men and took them as brides based on their heart's wishes. These pairings produced enormous people, giants who marched across the planet in the distant past. But in the midst of this blending of heavenly and earthly realms, a character of enormous consequence emerged, Azazel, who in the annals of one Enoch is accused of violating divine laws by giving prohibited knowledge to people. He is claimed to have taught humanity how to make weapons and cosmetics, while also exposing secrets reserved for the divine realm. Azazel faced the divine wrath for his bold actions, and he was exiled from the celestial abode where he had lived. His descent was a watershed moment in celestial drama, a tale of pride and tragedy, of forbidden insight bestowed on mankind. And so, according to 1 Enoch 2 8, Azazel's fate is sealed, his legacy permanently entwined with humanity's destiny. Azazel's actions are now documented in the ancient manuscripts of 1 Enoch, and his influence spreads like wildfire among mortals. Azazel, formerly a powerful celestial entity, is thought to have plummeted to earth with forbidden knowledge. He taught them the art of battle, including the forging of swords, knives, shields, and breastplates. Azazel divulged the mysteries of metals and their manipulation, as he taught mortals how to work them. But his lectures didn't stop there. Azazel gave humanity the wisdom of ornamentation, directing them in the construction of bracelets, necklaces, and other finery. He discovered the usage of antimony for cosmetic reasons, which improved the beauty of mortal faces. As Azazel and the Gregory's corruption spread, the fabric of humanity frayed, leading to darkness and chaos. The four archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel, saw the unfolding catastrophe with heavy hearts from their high vantage point. Blood coated the ground, and the cries of the downtrodden resonated into the heavens. The spirits of mankind begged the Almighty for justice and redemption. They begged the Most High to intervene on their behalf, to stem the tsunami of evil that threatened to overwhelm them. Azazel, in his arrogance, had ventured to disobey the natural order by revealing forbidden knowledge to mortals. He disclosed the eternal secrets of heaven, luring men with power beyond their understanding. In their stupidity, humans grabbed at these forbidden fruits, unaware of the ramifications that would follow. So, the archangels watched the misery of humanity, their hearts heavy with sorrow and determination. They felt it was time to take action and confront the darkness that threatened to swallow the globe. So, with righteous rage burning in their hearts, they prepared to wage war against the forces of corruption, determined to bring justice to a world on the verge of despair. As humanity's cries reached the sky, the Most High, in his infinite wisdom, witnessed the depths of sin perpetrated by Azazel and his followers. With righteous rage, he ordered a speedy and decisive retribution. 
Raphael, the faithful archangel, was entrusted with the solemn mission of carrying out divine justice. Raphael chained Azazel hand and foot, throwing him into the depths of darkness. A rift formed in the arid desert of Dudiel, revealing a pit of perpetual darkness where Azazel would dwell for all time. Rough and jagged boulders were thrown onto him, a stark reminder of the enormity of his misdeeds. Darkness engulfed him, shrouding him in an endless veil, his face hidden from the light he had so boldly rejected. Azazel would remain in this lonely prison indefinitely, a single figure exiled from the holy realm. And so, among the gloom of Dudiel, Azazel would stand as a monument to the Almighty's justice and righteousness. Furthermore, in the sacred book of Tobit, Raphael appears as a guiding light in the midst of darkness, accompanying the young Tobias on a treacherous trip loaded with danger and despair. Tobias, a pious young man, is assigned a difficult mission. Marry his cousin Sarah, whose previous spouses died tragically at the hands of the demon Asmodeus. With death hovering above them, Tobias and his devoted companion, Raphael, set off on an unknown trip. However, Raphael, ever smart and resourceful, becomes Tobias' guardian angel, providing wisdom and protection in the face of adversity. Raphael intervenes divinely to save Tobias from his modious grasp, offering wisdom and bravery to combat the terrible powers that attempt to separate them. Azazel's demise is foreseen with grim certainty in the ancient Book of Enoch, his actions casting a gloomy shadow over all of creation. On the day of the Great Judgment, the divine decree is clear. Azazel will face the flaming fury of divine justice, his transgressions exposed for all to see. He will suffer for eternity in the depths of hell, a punishment appropriate to the enormity of his offenses. Azazel is accused of poisoning the fundamental fabric of reality, with his teachings leading humanity astray and plunging the planet into chaos. All iniquity is attributed to him, and his influence taints the globe with depravity. In three Enoch's mysterious books, the intricate network of celestial hierarchy unravels, exposing the tangled fate of angels and mortals alike. Among the celestial beings, three stand out, Azza, Shemhazai, Uzza, Uzza, and Azazel, whose deeds influence the trajectory of divine history. During Enoch's promotion to the rank of Angel Metatron, these three angels challenged his lofty position, their pride and jealousy fueling discontent in the celestial realm. Despite their fall from grace, they continued to dwell in the hallowed halls of heaven, their presence a thorn in Metatron's side. Metatron, with contempt in his heart, decreed their expulsion from the heavenly dwelling, throwing them into the depths of the cosmos. From that day forward, they were regarded as the three who got the greatest blame, their identities eternally tainted by their participation in unlawful unions between angels and mortal women. Azazel and Shemhazai, as leaders of the Fallen 200, faced the brunt of the responsibility for their actions. However, they were more than just agents of corruption. They were also guardians of ancient wisdom, entrusted with the mysteries of heaven itself. They, like Uzza, served as tutelary guardian angels of Egypt, with far-reaching authority. As the other angels dispersed to the distant corners of the earth, Azazel, Shemhazai, and Uzza found themselves adrift in the cosmic sea, their fates intertwined with humanity's. In their fall from favor, they became both cautionary stories and enigmatic figures, leaving their mark on the fabric of celestial lore for all eternity. The mysterious passages of Three Enoch tell a story of paradox and mystery, exposing the complexities of celestial existence that mortals cannot understand. It is stated that while the angels' bodies were subjected to the flaming judgment of divine anger, their souls found refuge in the presence of God. Despite the agony of physical death, their essence remained connected to the divine realm, safe from the infernal fires that destroyed their earthly vessels. As the waters turned to ice, a phenomenon unknown to the fallen angels, it became a symbol of healing, a paradoxical salve for their broken spirits. Though they couldn't see it, the chilly embrace of the waters held the promise of renewal and restoration a testament to the Most High's infinite kindness. In this novel of contradiction and transcendence, the curtain between the material and spiritual realms is lifted, 
giving glimpses of a universe beyond mortal comprehension. And, despite the chaos of cosmic upheaval, the souls of the fallen angels seek refuge in the divine presence, their redemption journey unfolding in the secrets of eternity. Thank you for watching.